All right, Daisy, so how does it feel to become an AFL Players Association board member? Oh, yeah, it's a, a real honour and, a, I guess, a responsibility that I'm, I'm looking forward to and I think it's been wonderful having the Players Association come on board and represent us uh, girls from the outset and in the negotiations of our contract and playing terms in this first season. So I guess um, for the, the board position to then be extended to, to us girls and for us to have representation there is another significant acknowledgement of how sincere they are in, our, in their support. And what does it mean for AFLW? Well, I think it's just a, a, a really, like I said, a significant um, sign that we'll have a voice when, when decisions are made on our behalf, which I think is really important. And what can you bring to the board? Uh, what can I bring? I think, I mean, I've um, been really passionate and um, involved in, in the, the growth of the competition. I've been playing in the Victorian Women's Footy League for 12 years now and um, been really passionate about improving our opportunities and, and, and really, um, I guess, striving for, for, for more opportunities for all of us. So in that time, I've built really good relationships, I'd like to think, with a, a big widespread of players uh, across all of the country, not just here in Victoria and also with other stakeholders as well through having worked at uh, the AFL. I've got good re relationships with some of the administrators that, that work across AFLW so I look forward to um, working with AFLPA and also just being able to pick up the phone and talk to certain people if I need to I think will be a real strength of mine. Um, yeah. <laughs> and how did this opportunity come about? The AFL Players Association contacted me and, and let me know that there was going to be a new position on the board created for AFLW players and thought I might be a good fit, should I be interested and I had a bit of a think about it and yeah it was something like I said I, I'd, I'd love to, um, if, I, if I had the opportunity, improve the, the playing terms and conditions for us girls and um, I see this as, as that opportunity and to be able to be that voice that represents the players is something that I look forward to but as I said also having those relationships with key stakeholders at the AFL I think will be really important as well. And just the last one, just the significance of, you know, the PA's been around for 44 years, this is the first year of AFLW, you're the, you know, the inaugural female board member, just maybe touch on the, that significance as well. Yeah, I guess it is significant being the first um, female board member and probably a natural shift given that um, the, the rest of the industry is shifting as well in terms of creating the AFLW League and we're seeing more women in leadership roles across the whole industry so um, with the AFL Players Association now representing the female playing group I guess it, it was a natural progression for there to be a board member and I, I think it's a great move.